Okay, hello everyone. So on the very beginning, quick survey. Uh, who actually use Scala in daily on the daily basics? All right, and who use Ruby? And how many of you use both Scala and Ruby on the same time? <laughs> okay, so because this is a polyglot conference, I'd like to show you a little bit of comparison of these both languages. There are for some different use cases. Uh, and this talk is inspired actually by Martin Mazur talk from the Dev Day, like why you should talk to strangers. It's about uh, learning different languages, even if you don't use them, uh, but it's worth to know them. So I'd like to compare Ruby and Scala at the same time. So these languages are uh, created from the different purposes. So like Ruby is, is pretty simple, designed for simple stuff with quite nice DSL and so on. Uh, while Scala is created for more, maybe more concurrence programming and so on. So um, it's of course based on JVM and uh, it's used for more performance stuff. Um, and how to install both of these languages. So we can install very easily Ruby, like Brew install Ruby on Mac, and Brew install Scala also on Mac, so installation is pretty simple. Uh, how packages system work, so uh, this is uh, actually using some packages in Ruby, like we can do gem rails or gem whatever, provide some version and so on, and this is how we do in Scala, we just add SBT plugin uh, with, with a package, uh, some name and a version, Version is obligate here, while in Ruby the version is optional. Uh, what next? This is how gem file looks like. This is a file which defines uh, all of gems like external libraries and the, their versions. And this is how SBT file in Scala looks like. So it's pretty the same, or very similar at least. Uh, what about filter and redas function? Uh, so when we need to filter and then read us some collection in Ruby, we just uh, create a range, then select some elements and reduce it. So we sum all of them. Uh, in Scala it's also pretty simple. So as you can see, it looks very similar. Mm, okay, named arguments in functions. We can do it in Ruby like we have arguments, we can name them later on to to actually to show what are we assigning there. And the same we can do in Scala. It's, as you can see, it's pretty similar. Uh, next, partial functions. So if we have function, if we need to apply only a couple of arguments, not all of them, to then have those functions par partially applied, we can do it in Ruby by creating a function add, then add to, we create a lambda, while we passing uh, only one argument. And the same we can do in Scala. Also, we can create a function. You can see that we have to provide types uh, opposite to Ruby, and then we can create partial function as well. Uh, okay, what about pattern matching? Yes, we have pattern matching also in Ruby and in Scala. Uh, we can just case value, and then uh, we can check what are uh, the type of this value and uh, print a corresponding message. Uh, we can do the same in Scala. So we can also check types and print the corresponding message. So as you can see, it's pretty similar. Mm, what about writing an element from array? It's in Ruby, it's pretty simple. It's Scala, it's much harder, but it's also available. Uh, we can do the same in both languages. What about monkey patching? Monkey patching is the thing that we can modify existing existing classes. So we can do it in, in Ruby, like uh, class evaluation. So if we have string class, we can evaluate some new method that does some stuff that we want. We can do the same in Scala by, by creating implicit classes. So we have the same functionality in both languages. And what about mixings? Mixing is a kind of helper that we can introduce in our classes. Like we have class that already exists or not yet. Uh, we create a mixing on, or module that we can use in our class. And the same we can do in Scala by extending traits, basically. Uh, what about Rails and Play? These are frameworks for web development. We can easily create boilerplate, so a new skeleton, application skeleton by Rails new example. The same we can use with Scala. The Play is very similar to Rails. We can do Play new example 
What about routing in both applications? Okay, thanks. Thank you.